Hey what's up guys I'm Matt here and in this video we are going to compare the two of the top 3 Apple Watch Ultra replicas the H11 Ultra Smartwatch and the Z8 Ultra Max Smartwatch before we start make sure to hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for 15k subscribers first of all in the boxes of both of the smartwatches we get the ocean strap the wireless charger and the user manual both of the smartwatches come in 49mm size and I think that the color of H11 Ultra resembles more with the original Apple Watch Ultra and it is really hard to make it visible in the video but it is also given the design of the GPS antenna just like the original Apple Watch Ultra. Both of the smartwatches have the additional holes on the right as well as on the left side. All holes on the H11 Ultra are open while on the Z8 Ultra Max on the left side the upper hole is closed. Both of the smartwatches have the real screws and the strap locks just like the Apple Watch Ultra and here we have the wireless charging and health sensors. The H11 Ultra also has this temperature sensor here while the Z8 Ultra Max doesn't have the temperature sensor. Z8 Ultra Max is waterproof and it can be used for swimming as well as while taking bath. The H11 Ultra smartwatch is not waterproof. The H11 Ultra smartwatch comes with MediaTek RTL8763E chip while the Z8 Ultra Max comes with MediaTek AX. H11 Ultra has 256 MB of memory while the Z8 Ultra Max has 128 MB of memory. The H11 Ultra has 1.91 inches of display with 425 into 518 resolution and here is the bezel size it has quite thick bezels and as advertised the ZD8 Ultra Max has 2.08 inches of display with 420 into 485 resolution and here is the bezel size so looking directly at it the display quality of H11 Ultra is so much higher than the ZD8 Ultra Max the action button on both of the smartwatches cannot be customized on ZD8 Ultra Max it is used to access the app history while on H11 Ultra it is used to access the sport modes let me show you all of the watch faces H11 Ultra has interactive watch faces and you can access the applications which are shown on the watch face. Some of the watch faces are also themed and you can change the theme by just tapping on them. ZD8 Ultra Max doesn't have both of these options. H11 Ultra has the watchOS style icons and there are two menu styles in H11 Ultra. The ZD8 Ultra Max has its own theme and there are four menu styles in the ZD8 Ultra Max smartwatch. H11 Ultra also has the calendar application while the ZD8 Ultra Max doesn't have it. ZD8 Ultra Max has the torch option while the H11 Ultra doesn't have it. Both of the smartwatches come with NFC. Both smartwatches can receive notifications from almost all of the applications in your smartphone. There are two screen off dials in H11 Ultra, one with the digital clock and one with the analog clock. ZD8 Ultra Max also has two screen off dials, one with the analog clock and the series 8 watch face and the second one with this digital clock. The screen off dial on H11 Ultra can stay on for a maximum of 1 minute and on ZD8 Ultra Max it can stay on for a maximum of 30 seconds. ZD8 Ultra Max also has always wake technology and the touch is always working even when the display is turned off or on screen off dial. H11 Ultra also has tap to wake but it only works for a few seconds when the screen turns off or the screen off dial turns on and after a few seconds it stops working. Both smartphones have the key bright option or always on display which means on the watch face the screen will never turn off and it will only turn off when the battery dies. Both of the smartwatches have the bedside lamp mode so let me show you all of the languages supported by them. So as you saw the ZD8 Ultra Max supports so much more languages than the H11 Ultra. Both smartwatches can add alarms directly in the smartwatch. On ZD8 Ultra Max you can also set separate ringtones for phone, for messages and also for alarm clock. You cannot do this on the H11 Ultra. Both smartwatches have a speaker and a microphone and by connecting Bluetooth calling you can use both of the smartwatches to receive calls and dial calls directly from here and you can talk directly using the microphone on the smartwatch and hear the next person directly from the speaker on the smartwatch. 
smartwatch and using bluetooth calling you can also use voice assistant directly on the smartwatches the hlm ultra comes with heartbeat checker blood oxygen level checker and temperature checker while the zdh ultra max comes with heartbeat checker blood pressure checker blood oxygen level checker and also ecg checker it doesn't have temperature checker but as tested by many of my subscribers the zdh ultra max has real sensors and the heartbeat values are quite accurate even when compared with the original health devices while as far as i have checked the hlm ultra has fake sensors but soon we will compare all of the apple watch ultra replicas with the real health devices so make sure you are subscribed for that so the h11 ultra comes with 450 mh of battery as advertised and on normal usage it can give you 7 days while on standby it can give you 15 days of timing the zd8 ultra max is advertised to have 380 mh of battery and it can also give you 7 days of battery life on normal usage and it is advertised to give you 60 days yes 60 days of battery life on standby so let's compare the full brightness the h11 ultra surely seems brighter than the zd8 ultra max on full level brightness and will surely have a more clear and visible display in daylight brightness level on zd8 ultra max is also good and it will also be visible in the daylight but the visibility of the h11 ultra will be more than the zd8 ultra max and now it's time to compare the smoothness first of all let's do it in the honeycomb menu style The UI and transitions on the H11 Ultra are surely better than the Z8 Ultra Max. The icon size on the Z8 Ultra Max is so much smaller. It should have been at least of this size. And the transition and the style on the H11 Ultra it is also quite similar to the original Watch OS. While the Z8 Ultra Max is quite different from the original Watch OS. So let's compare scrolling now. So the scrolling is also smoother on H11 Ultra. Also the touch of H11 Ultra is better than Z8 Ultra Max. While scrolling, the Z8 Ultra Max opened the applications twice, while the H11 Ultra didn't open any application and also scrolled quite smoothly. So now let's see how fast is the touch response on both of them. And both of them have the option that if you scroll all the way up, it will open the application which is in the middle. And if you scroll all the way down, it will animate the icons, which is surely smoother on the H11 Ultra. So guys, these were all of the comparisons that I could think of. It is quite easy to decide if you want a better display, a better UI and a smoother interface, then I would surely recommend the H11 Ultra smartwatch. And if you would like to have this Series 8 screen of dial smartwatch with better health sensors and a waterproof smartwatch, then I would surely recommend the ZD8 Ultra Max smartwatch. So you can find the link of full reviews of both of the smartwatches in the description box below. And if you want to buy them, then I've given the purchase links in the description box below and I would really appreciate if you can use that links to purchase the smartwatches you can also check out my best apple watch series 6 7 8 and ultra replicas playlist i'm gonna be linking it in the description box below make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this i will catch you in the next one until next time this is i peace out